So the new event is out and I'm not going to waste your time because you probably want to grind for something. Uh, the AU1 is not going to be worth it. I'm going to be explaining to you why it's not worth it. Unless you play ground RB, the ordinance is very good. But the flight performance itself is pretty much inferior in every metric. Starting off with the armor, it's all on the bottom because, well, it's a ground attack plane. So most of the, the fire is going to come from below. The engine looks to be relatively the same. Unfortunately, it's not the case. It has the same amount of horsepower, but the compressor is a lot worse. So it's a lot worse at altitudes. And I'm talking anything above 500 meters. Even on the deck, it's slower. And I will show you a comparison right here, which was made by Rename TV. He is a very good player. Unfortunately for all my non-Russian viewers, he is Russian. So you might not understand most of what he's saying. He does have captions on some of his videos. And here I'm just showing you some of the ordinance options. Because that's basically the only reason you want to fly this thing out. I will just literally translate whatever Rename just said. Just to avoid any misinterpretations. So we have the top speed. As you can see on level, it's a lot slower. It can even go 610. Which means that the 109K4 will catch it without any problems. The climb rate, it does get an air spawn, but it's only 23 meters a second, opposed to the, the other one that has 27 at the same altitude. And the 4B Corsair turns way better, I can easily dogfight with the 109s. This thing turns quite a bit worse, so even the K4 will outturn it in the level turn. And now for some gameplay, I hope I didn't bore you to death with that comparison. The video itself, the gameplay isn't going to be very special either. It's a very mediocre plane, so to speak. It's it's good for an attacker, don't get me wrong. It's probably better than, say, the 82. But due to the nature of the event and everyone trying to ground pound and everyone trying to, to get the first place, there's a lot of people just lawn mowing, ground pounding to get first place. So I didn't get the best footage. Instead, I'm going to show you this game at least to give you a bit of an impression of what this plane can actually do. I gave you the, the comparison versus the 4B. There are two things I forgot to mention. Or rather, I couldn't really mention. First thing is the compression. The elevator will literally pull half of the 4B. And that's also the point where the fuel size is a bit prolonged. So the center of gravity is all screwed up. So all in all, the elevator itself pulls less. But the plane itself also pulls differently. So yes, it turns worse. It also compresses a lot worse. You definitely notice that in the dives. Which you will see relatively soon here after I dive away from the Tempest. And there's a second thing. The engine, it overheats extremely fast in second gear. I think this is a bug. I hope they will fix this. But you can see that I'm already blinking. I mean, I'm only like two minutes into the game and it's already blinking red. Here, there's a Tempest. I got an air spawn. He climbs relatively the same as me. So I am above him. He tries to pitch up after me. He's basically stalling out and he flies into my guns. He can't really dodge that. And now I'm just going to extend and see whatever I can do. That 190 seems to be going for me. So I don't want to dive straight to the deck. Because if he actually wants to kill me and I'm going straight down. He will indeed catch me. He will compress less. He will pull inside of my turn. Yes, a 190 pulling inside of your turn. And he will absolutely clap me. The elevator compresses. Luckily, the ailerons and the rudder are still fine. The rudder is still the same as the 4B. It's not very responsive at higher speeds. But at least it's not worse. It might be a bit worse due to the, the nature of the plane. But here you can clearly see that I'm only pulling 7 G's at 550. Which isn't very good. So I'm going to try to pull inside of the D13 here. At least try to scissor with him. He breaks off so that's perfect for me. Still only 8 G's. That's almost 600 kph. Which isn't very good. Now I'm just going to do a very slight gradual climb. To not waste too much of my energy. And just close the gap on the 190. Because I'm still faster than the 190 on the deck. Which is perfect. And of course the guns hit as hard as you expect them to. The a and trees. They're probably the best prop guns in the game. Here I have a G55 on me. This is pretty lucky. But I didn't get many dogfights. So I wanted to show you how bad the controllability is at lower speeds. So I'm diving down right here to make him compress into the ground. He's not really having any of that. He rolls away from me. His roll compressor was than mine. But I'm not too sure what he's doing. I should have had him there. But I'm luckily, luckily I missed, so now I can actually show how weird it is, this plane is to aim. You see, when I start moving only my mouse, it doesn't pull at all. And then when I touch my elevator, my keys, it will suddenly start pulling quite hard. And you will see the difference again in the clip after this one. And for now, he's just very slow. And now I can actually use my mouse to aim without too much trouble. And I shoot him out of the air. I got pretty lucky there that G55 should totally have clapped me. But I'm going to show you... What it is like to even dogfight a 190D. So we go head on. 
I'm extending, I'm going 550. I was thinking he wouldn't turn with me because he's in a Dora and I'm in a Corsair, so I should be able to easily clap him. I just shoot too high there, unfortunate, would have been a nice reversal. But again, luckily I miss, so I can actually show you how weird this plane is. He's going up, which is something you don't really want to do versus this plane. But you can tell that even with my flaps at these speeds, where the Dora should be very bad, I can't even get the shot in. Which is a bit unfortunate. And here, you will see, and I lay off my keys right there, and I try to use my mouse, that suddenly the plane stops responding altogether. It's really weird, the P38s do it as well, as well as the other F4Us. So you might be familiar with it, but it's really annoying, and it really throws me off, because when you use your mouse to aim, it feels like you only use about 20% of your pool. And the rest of the clips are basically just the guns being very good, and me showing you how good these guns actually are, as well as just some... Uh, well, some quote-unquote highlights, because I didn't really experience a lot of exhilarating moments in this thing. Mainly because of the way the, the game is played, when people are going for the ground pounding. And people are just trying to grind the event at all costs. And just the unlimited ammo, the amount of lead you can spray at people is just amazing. And as well as in this clip that you will see, this is the first time I experienced the compression. And you will, you see how bad I compressed there. And I'm, I'm used to the... I'm going to die there as well. I'm really used to the 4B where I can just... You know, pull up. And I can just, you know, get my guns on target. And in this thing, you just can't do that. So if you're looking for a plane to fly in Air RB, then skip this thing. Just fly the 4B instead. It might have an air spawn, but it's definitely not worth it. And I'm not very sure why he turned away from me to go for the P-59 instead of going for me. Uh, and you can tell that I'm not, I'm not even trying to aim here. And I did this on purpose. I was trying to show you all... Like how, how bad your aim can be and you just hose people down and just you just shit on them. You have almost you have almost one thousand rounds and almost all of those rounds are potential one well you need two or three shells on target and someone is just completely gone. This is one of the better things about the air spawn. You spawn a bit forward so you, you can actually intercept the Junker 288. You need some decent aim. But once you're at least 1.2 kilometer marks, you will just, you can clap them. And I killed a lot of Junker 288s like that. I think almost every game, one of my first kills would be a Junker just like that. He would burn up or he would put it out. Most of them actually put it out, which is kind of just, uh, just like him, which is pretty unfortunate. And here you will see the average game when people actually climb. This was at the very, very start of the event because I started playing just after that. So people actually climbed here. This is why I use this clip. And you will see the... Oh, the altitude the other people are at. You see the 109 G14s in the background. They're relatively on the same altitude. But the K4 climbs better. And it will retain energy better. It will outturn you. It will outrun you. It will outturn you at high speed even more. It's a very unfair matchup right now. You are pretty fast on the deck. But the K4 can run. They can go up. They can do whatever they want. And they will absolutely tear you apart. And I'm just waiting for someone to engage me. I'm looking at the 410. I'm looking at the G14. And I'm not too sure what I want to do here. Because I want to kill that ME410, which is a very easy kill. But then there's also that G14. But he doesn't seem to be going for me. So I'm just going to turn here. And notice how bad the turn actually is. There was a full elevator turn with my keyboard. And it's not really moving at all. I'm going to pull in here. Shoot a bit too high. And then shoot too low. And I'm not, I'm not going to go head on with that guy. 220s, 2 MK-103s, they are very scary guns. The energy retention is as bad as a Corsair is, in a turn at least. At least you shut the speed off relatively quick, but this thing doesn't turn as well as the 4B to compensate for it. And here's the ME-410 trying to dive away, but these guns aren't having any of that. I shoot a steel control out and I crit his wing and he's gonna go right into the ground. And for the last clip, a 190A8. Not much special going on here. But the 190A8 is one of the worst planes at 5.0. He got up to it. And he was still kind of on my altitude. Which, you know, which is pretty sad. I shoot his wing off. Take a still control out just like the last clip. And I'm just going to wait for him to fly into the ground. And that's going to be game. I'm sorry for the footage. It wasn't on pause what you used to for my for my channel. But I couldn't get any good footage. My aim was very poor today and yesterday. And I was just struggling. And these teams were really, really bad. Because everyone is just focusing on getting first place. 
I hope it gave you a good idea of how this plane actually flies and how good it actually is, or how bad it actually is, I should say. It's still decent for a 5.7 attacker, but don't expect it to be a 5.7 aircraft like the 4B or the P-47M is. I hope you enjoyed it, hope it was useful, and I will see you all very soon.